This is a message for Asbury University. Will you daily deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Jesus Christ? Will you follow Jesus wherever he tells you to go? Will you repent of all your sins and stop sinning? Will you tell the real truth of Jesus? Will you be filled with the Holy Spirit? Will you be baptized in his name? Will you know who Jesus is on the day of judgment? In this day and age, we live in a world that hates Jesus. And in the end of days, which we are in right now, there will be a great falling away. We are in this right now. As the Bible records this in the Gospels, saying that many will grow cold in the way how they love, but few will still have the love of Jesus in them. And also, the broad path that leads many people to destruction, which is hell, but few will find that path and will find eternal life. This great revival that that you, Asbury Church, that you guys are talking about, that there is a great revival, there is one more question I will ask you. Are you going to... Are you... Are you going to suffer great persecution for Jesus? Because if you are, you must count the cost. Now, I know that sounds odd for me to say... But once you know the truth about Jesus, when you hear true disciples who speak about repentance and also the love of Jesus and righteousness, you must count the cost. And with that being said about counting the cost, once you know about what really counting the cost means, you will have to sacrifice everything in your life. And not literally, but in some cases, you might have to. You will have to sacrifice friends. You will have to sacrifice family members. You'll have to sacrifice acquaintances at, at your work or people you know from the street. And yes, you might even have to sacrifice your own life for the gospel of Jesus and your own life. This is very serious times. The whole, if you if you must be filled with Jesus's Holy Spirit, ask him daily to fill to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow him. We are living in very dangerous times, for we are not promised tomorrow. Clean the inside of your cup and also the outside of your cup. Otherwise, if you do not. Jesus will say, depart from me, for I never knew you. This te Also, I want to share a testimony with you guys also with this as well. I was, and I'm not going to say where I was at, but I was in bed one night, awake, and I was having a hard time sleeping that night, and I felt my foot move. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, this demon is going to drag me out of bed. And then I all of a sudden with my right hand, I gripped the bed just in case if something were going to happen. I felt this immense torture from a demon, whether I was being possessed or not, I don't know. But all I know was this, I was robbed of my speech. I couldn't speak like how I am speaking now. And all and then as soon as I realized that I could not speak at all, I called on the name of Jesus and I said, "Jesus, save me. Save me." And you know what Jesus did when I was twitching, shaking violently while everyone in the house was asleep? Jesus stopped it. 
and I was frightened. But I called on the name of Jesus and Jesus saved me. We are living in serious times. Even though I keep saying that over and over again, but we are we are we cannot I we cannot play games, guys. And this message is for the as I don't know how to say the university's name, but 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 regardless, even beyond the university that's claiming this revival, guys. Jesus is real. Hell is very real. God has revealed himself to me in the past before. And also Jesus saved me from demonic possession because I called on his name and he saved me. And also I don't care if if I if I get told, "Nick, you're having sleep paralysis" or "Nick, you must go to church." Guys, you must have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You must be filled with this Holy Spirit. And if you don't know if you're filled with this Holy Spirit, ask him and he will give it to you. If your heart is in the right, if, it, if your heart is in the right mind, you must know him. And if you do not know him on the day of judgment, he will say, depart from me for I do not know you. And also with that being said, know this also. Like in the book in either King James one or King or or in the in in Kings one or Kings two. In the Bible, it also it talks about where a prophet disobeyed God, and then once God told him that he will not be buried with his ancestors, God prepared a lot. God prepared a lion for him. Him and the donkey were ripped to shreds. Because he disobeyed the Lord. Seek Jesus with all your heart. And with all your might. And with all your strength. You must know him guys. Otherwise you will never. See Jesus. And you will be in utter darkness. Where, there, where the light does not shine. You will be. In a, in a heap of pile. Where worms continuously eat. And never die. And you will be in a fire burning forever and ever that never quenches. And also where demons torture and do beyond worse than what anyone can possibly imagine on this world. Know Jesus or he will not know you. May Jesus bless your night and your day.